Some people you can give autonomy to and say to them, I'm going to give you this job to do, this is what I want you to do, and you'll know they'll go away and, and some of them will do it maybe as good as you want or better, but 80% of them won't. That's how it works. And I'd say to you that, 70, that most of you that are here that have got staff, you'd be probably unhappy with 70% of them. Would that be fair? I don't know about that, but I know it's pretty close. Yeah. I think what's going to, what happens though is that's our fault because you put people on to fill gaps. You don't put people on to educate. Right? So therefore the problem goes back to exactly where we were at the start going, you know, how do we keep people? We keep people by employing the right people. And Adrian and I have had a lot of talk about, because we had a lot of discussion on employment process because we had... We had different ways of doing it. And I said to Adrian, just keep the position vacant. Fuck. He goes, it's going to give me a headache. Don't worry. That's a lesser headache to have. Just leave it vacant. <laughs> right? And then we'll find somebody. Because we feel out of, you know, there's two types of um, personal traits that are very similar, but one's good and one's bad. Doubt kills. Fear is good. Because fear motivates. So I'm fearful of dying broke and alone. I make sure those two things aren't going to happen. So when I know my base fears, I'm fine. 